Deep inside the Scratch Wiki, you can actually find this list of Scratch mods, and in today's video, we're going to test some of them and see how good they actually are. Okay, so, the first one we have is Attacraft. Um, who was this? Okay, so, let's create one just to see how it looks like. Oh, okay, okay, so... So normal blocks will have the little indent on the top and like a little bulge at the bottom, but it seems that Addercraft blocks don't. So it's kind of a rectangle. Um, I kind of want to see how I click. Oh, okay, okay. So I see how this could be a little confusing because like, uh, what is it? Like the, the delete all and the stop all because you, you won't be able to attach stuff at the bottom. But um, that is kind of cool, I guess. It, it's different. It's different. And let me see what extensions they have. Whoa, what is this? Hold up. Oh, so there's Arduino. There's an Arduino. There's, um, like, a browser extension, I think. And then... So, basically, kind of turbo extensions, I guess. But I think most of these are more hardware. Instead of, um, other things like that. And Adavision. Teach... Use teachable machine models to detect things in images. I'm assuming that's like AI or something like that. What is this? Posed net to scratch. Posed to scratch blocks. It looks like that this extension thing is actually so you can link certain body parts and um certain kind of limbs to like like an X position and Y position. So you could kind of like link and make like a character move and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Although I don't think there's too much like different about this extension. There's a new variable tab. Um, other than that, there's nothing too special. Wait, hold on. I just realized that the the format, it kind of... It's not a 3x4 anymore, I think. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, what, what, what format is that? Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm not, I don't really know what to feel about the square rectangle block, though. I, I like it, but don't like it at the same time. So yeah, let's move on to the next mod. So it turns out a lot of these links are actually dead links, so they don't work. Um, half of them are actually really sketchy as well, so probably not going to go over those. Um, but I do want to point out that Cochrea, which is Gandhi IED, um, and Turbo Warp is also here. So those are included. I don't know why Turbo Warp is all the way down there. Maybe it was created later. But, um, yeah. Literally, all of these are broken, except, like, you know, Gandhi and Turbo Warp and Attacraft, I guess. Uh, what else is there? Pi... Pionki. Ionki. What is this? What type of off brand is this? Who that? Who is this, bro? Who is this? It's like a monkey, bro. What? Oh god. Um, it looks like basically 1.4, but just bad, I guess. Okay, I kind I'm, I'm, I kind of want to test it out, but there's no, it's no one for Windows. What? Okay, that sucks. Whatever. Uh, let's see what else is. Codingclip.com. Ah, yes. It's in Chinese. Let's translate it to English. Yeah. I. It looks like the scratch interface, judging by the blocks and stuff. Um, but what actually new stuff does it have? Okay, okay. So, um. If that's a dog or a wolf or whatever, it's called Sparrow. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's some new scrolling blocks here. I'm not really sure what they do, but I can't really try it out. Um, am I using this properly? What is it supposed to do? Does it mean like mouse scroll or the uh, the thing scroll? Wait, am I in the backdrop? I'm not. Why does it say backdrop? So, what? Wait, what? So, the costume tab is the backdrop tab, which is interesting, I guess. There's also this new uh, color palette down here, so I guess that could be pretty useful, so you don't have to keep adjusting it and whatnot. And there's opacity as well, so that's nice. I also like that you can, like, manually input the values, because I know it's, like, really annoying to have to keep trying to, like, uh, look at that. Yeah, it's always pretty annoying. So, it also looks like um, the category tabs and the lists are all now um, kind of just text, I guess. There's probably a lot of other stuff to this mod that I'm 
probably just bypassing. Um, all right, let's head on to some more. Okay, so the final one I wanted to show you was this Tosh Blob Codes. Um, I thought this was really useful. I always kind of wanted to make a text-based scratch editor, or at least not make one. At least like try it out and stuff. Um, and they finally have one. So let's check it out. It's a pretty rudimentary editor. I don't see anything too special about it. Turtle. Okay, so that's a logo reference, I believe. Um, logo is basically another program language that Scratch was basically based off of. If you want to go learn more about that, I recommend checking out Challenger 10K's video on the history of Scratch. It's really interesting and it's just cool in general. Okay, so let's figure out how to actually code this. Okay, so it took a me a little longer than I'd like to admit, but um, I got this basic script shooter script going and you kind of just shoot arrows um yeah it's uh really rudimentary um so you can't actually draw stuff in here you have to import um things for some reason it doesn't let me reference other sprites so when i create a new sprite and then let's say for example um go to um turtle which is this other sprite right here um, it comes up as an error, so I don't know why that happens, but it does. I, if, in the future, I actually want to try to make an actual game using this. I feel like that'd be really cool. And uh, I think it should be a really good idea in general. So if you want me to see a video on that, let's get this video to 1,000 likes, and uh, I will make a video on it. Um, but for now, let's just try to make some more movement. So I'll just show you how it works in general. So for example, if... Let me see, if key pressed, if W key pressed, change Y by 10. Oh, no, not 10, uh, 4. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And if you wanted to see more Scratch Mod content like this, just like and subscribe. It's the easiest way for me to identify that you want more videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.